Hello, Sean from Wex here. I've been doing my Wex at Home challenge for this week, which as you know from the previous announcement was plant-based photography. Now I kept it quite simple this week. I got a couple of plants, I got a cactus and this little leafy thing that was on stilts or something like that. And I just um, wanted to do like something really simple, something similar to kind of like a little studio shoot as if I was shooting for say like a magazine. Now I don't have all of the kit that you would typically be using for that sort of you know genre of work but I did make do with what I had around the house. Now straight away I knew that I wanted to shoot these plants on say like an infinity wall kind of backdrop. What you would typically use for this is a photography studio if you're like shooting with a with human sized models or you know humans who are models or if you're shooting with products you'd uh, tend to have like a table with like some sort of professional draped material. I didn't have any of that so what I used was was a nice fluffy blanket. Here it is. So yeah, I just draped this over the sofa and just kind of positioned certain cushions and whatever in a certain way so that I could get it into that infinity wall sort of shape. You're basically just trying to create a slope and you can do this with pretty much anything. If you've got uh, a bed sheet, you can use a bed sheet, you know, as I, I was using a blanket, so that's a good example of that. Um, or you could use, say, like wrapping paper. If you've got like wrapping paper that has like some interesting designs on it, then there's no reason why you can't just roll that out and have that as your infinity wall if you wanted to be a little bit more stylized and unique. And as you can see from the photos that I took of both the cactus and the leafy stilt plant, as it will now be known as. I think this infinity wall worked out quite well. I had an LED panel so that I could key light it and I used my little Pevitube nan lights to backlight it or to underlight it, whichever way. You know, I was just experimenting really with the photographs that I was getting and something that I think worked really well, which, you know, kind of introduced itself by accident was that the, the slight folds and creases in the blanket in the background because of the way it was catching the light from the, the daylight that was outside coming through the window of the living room. It, um, it caused some like shadow effects that I thought just looked, they didn't look out of place. It was a very white backdrop so I think it was nice just to get some slight textured tones of like just slight shadows coming through. It kind of gave the background like a, a silky sort of like texture to it which I think just suited the shoot quite well. I even like the fact that the material of my blanket is quite um, woolen and has kind of like a little furry texture to it so um, seeing that um, beneath the plant pots I think just gives it well you know a kind of softer gentler vibe. It sort of reminds me of maybe like a dove advert or something like that. Like if I was shooting say an aloe vera plant for instance it'd probably make a good moisturizers advert or something. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm not sure. But yeah, I enjoyed this challenge. Um, I was shooting on the Canon EOS M, which is my old holiday camera, which I used for the miniature photography challenge that I did weeks ago now. If you want to go check that out, then it's out there on our YouTube channel. So be sure to take a look on our YouTube channel to find that video if you're interested. But more importantly, we're more interested in seeing what you guys can come out with from these challenges. We've released a bunch of challenges over the weeks during the year of 2021. So be sure to have a look at those. And just because we've got a challenge coming out this week and we'll have a new challenge coming out next week and the week after that, don't feel like you can't take part in previous challenges if you want to. Like these aren't competitions, they're just challenges that we're setting to inspire ourselves and hopefully inspire you guys as well to take part. We're very interested to see what you guys can make of these challenges because we know there's a lot of really creative minds out there and we just want to see what those creative minds can come up with. Just be sure that if you do take part that you post it on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag Wex at Home and then we'll be able to see it drop you a cheeky like, maybe even a cheeky little comment, maybe just a nice little uh, hello. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you in the next video.